Toyotaro's Dragon Ball Super manga adaptation continues to give us a sneak peek of things to come. And now with chapter 6, we've got a whole bucket load of information. Bunch of new stuff is going on now. And I've already done a video outlining exactly what was talked about and the translation of the text. So here I'm going to present my review for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 6. First and foremost, the chapter begins with Beerus and Champa fighting in space. Now when you first look at the chapter, it looks like they're just duking it out. But what we actually discover is that it's actually just Whis projecting an event that already happened. And then as I said in my recap, this is basically the reason why they never fight anymore through fisticuffs they actually have eating contests now because the universe is in trouble if they ever fight hand to hand as you can see by some of the images the planets are just being destroyed around them two gods of destruction fighting is not a good idea for any universe or any galaxy and i do love the shot of weiss and vados watching the fight uh it makes me smile so then we quickly segue into basically the buildup for the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament, which I outlined in the other video. Beerus, of course, is talking to Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of them. And, of course, they suggest Gohan, and Vegeta says, well, we should get Gohan. And Goku says, no, uh, he doesn't really fight anymore. Sorry, Gohan fans. Instead, Piccolo and Majin Buu are chosen to represent the team. And we go through the entire monologue about the Super Dragon Balls. Now, we finally get a glimpse at tights, or at least what tights is going to look like. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've always had a problem with tights because I think it's very, very, very unrealistic that Bulma had an older sister and for 42 volumes of the Dragon Ball manga and damn near 500 or so episodes of a TV series, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, there's not a single mention of Bulma. 20 freaking movies, tons of guidebooks, and there's not a single mention of tights. I said Bulma earlier. I meant to say tights. I uh, think that's BS. And for those who don't know who Tights is, I have another video on my channel, which I'll link to below, called Who is Tights? Tights is Bulma's older sister, who has been missing in action for years and years and years. But apparently, in the Super Manga Chapter 6, Bulma just calls her on the phone. She's been living at Omori's the whole time. I really don't like that. I really, really don't. But we do see Jocko, of course, and, you know, Jocko is always going to bring us a good time. The most interesting thing about the manga chapter... To me, first of all, the artwork is fantastic. I really enjoyed how Toyotaro drew Beerus and Champa fighting. But we actually get a glimpse of the Super Dragon Balls. And what's interesting is we don't see the Nine Star Ball. Um, Nine Star Dragon Ball is not there. Of course, those of you who remember that when the first chapter of this came out, there was a Nine Star Dragon Ball on the cover of the first Dragon Ball Super Manga chapter. Well... That appears to be a printing mistake unless later on there's going to be a revelation of a 9-star Dragon Ball. I don't know. But the Super Dragon Balls are definitely there, planet-sized of course. And the most interesting thing I think about this manga chapter is of course the ending. The final page where we see Champa and Vados at the arena where the tournament's going to take place. It looks a lot like the Cell Game Arena and the old school Tenkaichi Budokai Arena kind of combined. I really, really love it. And Vados is asking Champa, have you chosen your five warriors yet? And Champa says, well, Beerus has Saiyans. We should get some too. Or Saiyans if you want to go by the dub pronunciation. So... Beerus wants Saiyans. Um, of course, people are going to talk crazy now about Bardock and Broly coming back or evil Goku. I don't think any of those scenarios is that plausible. I think we're going to get brand new ones. However, I could definitely see evil Goku or all, not evil, but an alternate version of Goku possibly being an opponent. Uh, we'll see, but very interesting. They wouldn't put that line in there if it didn't mean something. So I'm very curious about where this tournament's going to go. And it looks like we're going to get some incredible new stuff very, very soon next month. So that's my review for Chapter 6 of the, of the Toyotaro manga. Really opened up the door to all kinds of new stuff. Uh, I have another video, as I stated before. I'm going to leave a comment below where I recap all the text and everything that's actually going to go on. But the manga was fun to read. The artwork is fantastic. Toyotaro doing a great job of giving us a peek of things to come. I am really excited to see where the series goes from now on. So let's all see how the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 battle happens and the events unfold. 
I will catch you down the road. 